Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. Sometimes in projects it's useful to be able to control multiple devices, so I combined a web server with UDP controls. Here is the web server running, uh, combined with those user datagram protocols. And uh, so you can select a device, client one or two or three or four or five, as many as you like. Bottom right is the server running. Uh, these are the controls. I can turn device on, off, all on or all off. So I'll turn on device one. There you see the relay actuated. Turn on device two. The camera doesn't respond well to the LED. Turn off device two. I can turn on all devices. Turn off all devices. Device one on. Turn them all off. Device two on, turn them all off. A final demo of two on, all on and all off. It's using the user datagram protocol, which is a broadcast protocol. It's not connected to any device, so it sends what's called a datagram in my example, C client 01 high to all network connect devices. Not all devices will be listening though. So you need to, the device needs to listen on port 3333, the one chosen in source code. It can be any port, but don't get a conflict with other ports already in use. So any other device on your network will receive the message and usually ignore it because it won't almost certainly will not be listening on your chosen port. So how does it work? So you select your client or device you wish to control. I'll use the example client two device on button. The server sends CO2H to all UDP clients or all clients that are listening on the U with the UDP protocol. And if the client matches the address CO2, client 02, it then reads the command, which in this example is H, and then actuates the LED or relay or what have you. Similarly for turning off, same process, select the client, in this case send client 02 low, CO2 L, and again, it will match the address CO2, client 02. It'll get the command, which is L for low, and then turn off the LED or relay. Or So you can make up your own command structure. Mine is very, very crude and simple. It's, sim it's the client address and then the command. So client address CO1, command high or low. And here's some examples how how I've, do, I've done that. So simple LED or relay control. Client 01 high to switch on. Digital right pin high is then matched with that reception of that command. Similarly for low. The servo control, again, you extract the command element of the instruction that's been received and send that to the servo or light dimmer or whatever peripheral device you may have. So in summary then, it's a conventional web server combined with the UDP protocol. Uh, it, it's been added to enable uh, quite a lot of clients, up to 253 clients can be controlled on a typical subnetwork. Controls aren't necessarily limited to on off, but you can uh, adapt the command structure to send more complex commands. Um, it doesn't have to be a complex command structure but I've just used a simple one um, and it's been controlled from a central web server. The code is available in my usual place which is the G6 EJD GitHub repository. I hope you found or find the project useful. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 